Hello. This is actually a new thing for me. I don't think last time I tried that a few months ago. I was actually able to live stream from my phone on YouTube. That's pretty awesome. Hey folks, this is Max from Woodsman's Finest. Coming at you here from Japan. And I just wanted to announce that my custom knife raffle that I have on on Instagram is actually running out. I actually wanted to extend it until, I'm still wondering, probably until Wednesday the latest. But what we're talking about here is a completely custom made hunting knife with a really awesome sheath. And I just wanted to announce to everybody that over on my Instagram channel. And for folks who don't have Instagram, it's also okay if you send me a message here, we can arrange something. But um, there's a couple of raffle spots left. For 15 euro, a raffle spot, you're able to get a ticket to win this custom knife here. This is a 1084 steel customized butcher knife. I completely went over. I put this pattern on, it looks like a hammon, but it's a forced patina. A really nice blade profile on this thing. This is gonna serve you extremely well in all hunting situations. Boning, it has a 90 degree spine, it strikes fair rods really well. Makes extremely nice um, feather sticks, of course. I really designed my knives, the blades, the handle, and the sheath to be as functional as possible in the actual situations you're gonna be using it for. So we have a very nicely curved, backwards curved blade. Um, uh, Spanish Ricasso, I wouldn't really call it Spanish Ricasso, but a Ricasso down here. Um, beautiful bird's eye maple, Canadian bird's eye maple, red liners, barrel shape, my dog leg handle shape on this thing, call it the dog leg, very comfortable. Supports the hand really well in all positions. So this is the knife. It's really a lifetime of a big game hunting knife. And uh, it comes in this custom made sheath here. Japanese veg tan leather construction with a top layer from Horween Bison, a liner from Ontario Shot and Tanned Moose. And we've got um, a cross draw carry on the back, normal belt carry, lower than the hilt, of course, or like higher than the hilt, you would say, so it doesn't poke you in the side when you wear it. Fitted construction, of course, this is not gonna go anywhere, no matter how you wear it. And uh, we also have a scout carry, so the belt can go through here and then through here. It's of course, hand stitched with all in two needles. So that's the deal, guys. Um, you can find this knife over on Woodsman's Finest, um, woodsman's underscore finest on um, Instagram and if you don't have Instagram we can work something out 15 euro a spot there's a few left for this um, 400 dollar plus it's actually a drain hole integrated in the construction 400 dollar plus knife um, you're gonna be able to hand down um, a couple of other updates I recently started to make some nice wallets again. This is a Horween Chrome Excel Burgundy wallet, completely hand stitched, of course. Um, cell stitch, all in two needles, no drilled holes, and it's it's got a really really nice inside construction. Um, we've got a liner from Japanese silk from a vintage Obi, and then we basically got two of my card wallet styles the kawa on each side so they take several cards and then you're able to put your bills behind here so it's at the same time a bill fold bill fold or bifold with as well um so yeah i really like this design worked really well um this one is a prototype here and uh i'm gonna be making more of these so that's i haven't I don't really have a name for it yet um, but with this Japanese silk lining inside, this is something I really wanted to do for a while. Very, very compact front pocket wallet, but you're able to take a lot of cards and put your um, 
money in there and yeah this one here is actually on the website this is another custom knife the sheath itself would be probably 130 140 dollars um, embossed hand dyed nicely burnished edges drain hole construction and of course we got a scout gary on the back different construction this time it was really fun doing a refinished flash side um, and rather having the, the top side on the inside here other like basically inside out from how I usually do it but this one here has a scout gear in the back here as well um, and I really like how this one turned out this one is stitched up by hand with um, Japanese hemp thread that I waxed by hand very old school with an all in two needles so like I said the sheath by itself would be probably around 140 bucks already but this one comes with a really nice custom butcher knife inside same blade design basically a little bit different Picasso as well long swedge on the top back curved like this and I've got a barrel shaped handle with black fiber liners and um, carbon pins in this uh, Korean knife and we've got a dog leg shaped handle this is my favorite handle at the moment with the palm support for power cuts for your feather sticks and then of course in the front it's very comfortable to to hold it like that for your chest lever grip so when you use it backwards for something else especially for example striking the fair rod so yeah this puppy here I call this one my um, Mississippi Bowie with the dog leg shaped handle very inspired by vintage pocket knives and then it's a long swedge on top back curve this is a great knife for all of your big game hunting fishing and I really go to the flat grinds these days um, when it comes to wilderness knives Really going away from the Scandi. I used to be Scandi guy. I used uh, I used flat bevels on all my carving, all my spoons, my axes for carving bowls and spoons. This is all of course flat grinds or like flat bevels. But other than that, if you're going to Scandinavia to the tribes of Siberia, you know, trappers, First Nations um, around the world there's nobody really using a scanning grind for me it's a little bit of a hoax to be honest um, i've used it for a long time but nothing works as well in the wilderness as a nicely like this three and a half millimeter stock flat grind with a secondary bevel it um just slices better it does the feather sticks as well we've got the secondary bevel which is basically a mini mini um scandy and you just find the bevel and write the bevel and this excels um going through meat um, through vegetables and that's what we really do out there I mean I'm not um, with these four millimeter scandy grinds I feel like any everybody who's really spending a lot of time outside is really hunting is really skinning animals taking fish apart um, doing camp chores you can't beat a strong flat grind in my opinion that's why I'm doing it because this is what I build knives for for people who really use them and I learned from the old timers and um, they give me a lot of their good opinions. I learned a lot in Northern Canada. And whoopsie daisy. Um, yes, this is the Mississippi Bowie. And right now it's available on my website, woodsmansfinest.com. So check that one out. Um, you get a lot of value in this one. Actually, it's a second because it has a couple of tiny little... Um, how would you say that it has a couple of it has traveled with me a lot so there's a couple of things on the handle it's just um cosmetical issues um, and so I sell it as a second but something like this would be usually like 450 bucks or something like that so you get a really good crazy deal on this one as well so yeah these two um, this one is on my website woodsmansfinance.com lifetime of a knife Gonna be proud having this and handling it, handing it down.
completely secure of course at all measured to the knife deep carry totally safe love this knife if it doesn't sell i'm gonna keep this thing for sure um and of course the knife raffle custom knife bison sheath um moose liner this one is my website as well and the new wallet line with the japanese silk obi vintage obi lining and uh the double card wallet construction with the billfold is going to be available very very soon as well as soon as i found the name for this guy so it's i have already a double kawa which is these two upside down and without the billfold that's what i call my double kawa kawa card wallet and japanese word for um, the japanese word for leather in this case we've got some billfold though and i don't know if you can tell but it's of course all hand stitched with all into needles trying to make it really attractive classic stitch well that was just my trial for a little live stream i'm really stoked that this actually works on youtube now i hope that the quality is decent um mm -hmm. head to my website and um to woodsman's underscore finest on instagram to check the raffle just two days left to get one spot and um yeah for 15 euro this custom knife here could be yours Sorry for the plug, guys, but this is my job. I'm a craftsman, I'm a knife maker. And if I don't get the info out to you guys, you don't even know what's happening. So I just wanted to share this. Go ahead, check it out. Um, and if this works well, then um, this could be really a thing that's gonna happen every couple of weeks that you get the chance for really a small amount of money to get a raffle spot for a lifetime of a knife like this cool thank you so much for the support folks um like i said i'm in japan right now beautiful old chest behind me here and um, i'm really looking forward to 2018 getting the shop back up um and being able to provide and make all of these things on a daily basis again and yeah let me know well, you want to see a little bit more i still got plenty of uh, canoe videos and everything i'm going to be uploading here so while everybody is still enduring the winter and the cold season a little bit of a teaser um, for the summer months thanks for the support i hope you're safe wherever you are folks and i'm gonna see you later cheers